we've been following Google's efforts for years to strengthen the security of the internet. And, you know, the most controversial one, I would argue, was the, their decision to, to move up the, the already planned sunsetting of SHA-1 signed, hashed and signed certificates. Uh, but that happened. And starting as of that, at the beginning of this year, uh, no CA is issuing an SHA-1 a hash signed certificate. So, okay, that's behind us. Now Google is turning their attention to the problem that while HTTPS connections are shown as explicitly secure, non HTTPS connections are just kind of vanilla. That is, they don't say anything. And Google's concern is that that in the in the long term, once we accept the idea that HTTPS protected with TLS privacy and authentication is the de facto web protocol, not HTTP. Remember, Traditionally, HTTP was the de facto protocol. And even as recently as a few years ago, major sites would switch their users to HTTPS only while transacting privileged information. And controversially, they would leave their cookies, which were maintaining session, when the browser switched back to HTTP allowing things like the fire sheep attack, which made it trivial to impersonate people in any open Wi-Fi environment. So Google is saying, okay, our next push is we're going to actively discriminate against non-HTTPS connections. So in their blog post, they wrote, to help users... Oh, then, by the way, this is starting January 2017. So the beginning of next year, only a few months away, to help browsers browse, to help users browse the web safely, Chrome indicates connection security with an icon in the address bar. Historically, Chrome has not explicitly labeled HTTP connections as non-secure. Beginning in January 2015 with Chrome 58, will mark HTTP pages that collect passwords or credit cards as non-secure as part of a long-term plan to mark all HTTP sites as non-secure. Chrome currently indicates, they write, HTTP connections with a neutral indicator. This doesn't reflect the true lack of security for HTTP connections. In other words, you can sort of see the thinking now. It's like, it's not that this connection is secure, oh goody. It's, wait a minute, why is this one not secure? That's bad. So they say, when you load a website over HTTP, someone else on the network can look at or modify the site before it gets to you. A substantial portion of web traffic has transitioned to HTTPS so far, and HTTPS usage is consistently increasing. We recently hit a milestone with more than half of Chrome desktop page loads now served over HTTPS. In addition, since the time we released our HTTPS report in February, 12 more of the top 100 websites have changed their serving default from HTTP to HTTPS. Studies show that users do not perceive the lack of a secure icon as a warning but also that users become blind to warnings that occur too frequently. Our plan to label 
HTTP sites more clearly and accurately as non-secure will take place in gradual steps based on increasingly stringent criteria. Starting January 2017, Chrome 56 will label HTTP pages with password or credit card form fields as not secure, given their particularly sensitive nature. In following releases, we will continue to extend HTTP warnings. For example, by labeling HTTP pages as not secure in initially in an incognito mode where users may have higher expectations of privacy. Eventually, we plan to label all HTTP pages as non-secure and change the HTTP security indicator to the red triangle that we use for broken HTTPS. So, uh, you know, anytime someone uses their power, as Google is, it creates some controversy. And, you know, no one likes being told what to do. Uh, I imagine there will be people who, for some reason, HTTPS is a problem, is not practical, is that like something prevents them from doing it. I don't know what, but something. So the the dicey part here is that Chrome is going to be scaring anybody who uses those servers. Now we could argue, well, they deserve to be scared or this, you know, this needs to put pressure on that problem to get it fixed, which which may be the case. Ultimately, everyone knows I'm I'm bullish. GRC has been H HSTS uh, strict transport secure for years and and known by all the browsers that way. Uh, and ultimately, I think this is clearly where we need to go. But you know, Chrome is now has a has the lion's share of the browser market and uh, is taking advantage of that in order to push security forward, which. Ultimately, I mean, I think the, the the process is always painful, like we what we went through with SHA one certs. But once you're past it, it's like okay, this is better now. And every lesson that we have been taught by this industry is, I mean, okay, just say IPv4 uh, is <laughs> we're not moving right. unless we're not doing it unless something makes us. You know, Steve, we've got uh, a couple of folks in the chat room. We've got Klaatu and uh, Eric Duckman who are saying things like, well, you know, some sites don't need HTTPS. And you've got Eric Duckman saying, oh, what, so everyone's supposed to get a cert now? And I understand that frustration, but at the same time, no, absolutely not. Uh, the, the argument that only some things need to be encrypted is the wrong way to think about it. I think both of us are in agreement that you encrypt everything because you don't want people to know what's important by what's encrypted and what's not. It should be equally for them to break into my WordPress session where I'm reading a blog as it is for them to break into my my session that's transferring financial information. And as far and as we have, we have, we have, we have a, a, a perfect, just to interrupt you for one second, a perfect example of that is the, what law enforcement has called the going dark problem. Well, how do they know it's going dark if they weren't right. looking for the light? Precisely, precisely. And, and as far as certificates are concerned, I mean, this is the DNS Dane story. We're, we are about to get a system based off of DNSSEC using the same key from DNSSEC that will allow us to have certificates at a much lower price, read free, that are more secure and more easy to revoke when they go bad. So uh, I, I, I like that Google's doing this. They're, they're one of the only entities that has the muscle to shame sites into doing what they should have done a long time ago. I mean, the internet right. should and, be end-to-end -end encrypted. Yes, and well, and, and you know, it, it's a it is a enduring problem that security is an afterthought for the internet. I mean, we we need to cut them a lot of slack because they were amazed when a packet made it between two of their imp processors in the you know on day one. Uh, back when it was the ARPANET, and it's like, oh my God, you mean this actually works? And so, so no one could have foreseen 
what was going to happen. You know, I mean, I'm I'm still complaining about the fact that we have to say HTTP colon slash slash. What is who is this designed for? This wasn't designed for people. So, yeah, we're dragging a lot of legacy behind. Uh, but I, I completely agree with you. I think that that and, and don't forget too, let's encrypt does automate and make easy and has been a huge success with exponential growth in the number of certificates that they're issuing, um, uh, uh, providing uh, trusted certificates at no cost. And, and from what I've seen in, in people who are complaining, it's, I mean, I, and I get it. There are, there are technical reasons, you know, it's like, they're on a shared hosting provider and cPanel doesn't yet support Let's Encrypt. Well, okay, it needs to fix that. And, and then those sites can use encryption and everybody will be happy. And so, yeah, again, uh, there's going to be some pain. But I, I think where Google is taking us is the right direction. Yeah, yeah, and I'm okay with some short-term pain for some pushing very <laughs> long-term gains. Uh, and we, what we are talking about is a long-term game. I think we can, we can all agree that everything encrypted is a better way to do business and to live on the internet. And yeah, it seems a little heavy-handed. I, I get it. I get it, folks. See, some people don't like the fact that Google is using its, its huge market share to, to be able to force this change. But someone has to force the change because otherwise it just it won't happen. Mm. Yeah. Go well, I mean, you no. Know, on, on this podcast, we're constantly talking about uh, the 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 reticence to change, the inertia against against change, it's it's significant, right? 